Hello friends, welcome to SQL Practical Question video series. Here is another interesting question that I have received from one of the subscriber. First let me explain what is the question is about, then I will show you how to resolve this problem statement using SQL. So we are provided with a table which contains two columns, let's say this is column 1 and column 2. So in the first column we have some repeating value something like A and B. So within A and B we are provided with some values like let's say like within A there is like 1, 2, 3 and let's say in within B like 100 till 500. So now the expectation is we need to concatenate the list of values for each row with its previous row. For example in the first row what we need to do is the first row value is 1 so we just need to print the 1 as it is. When it comes to the second row, we need to concatenate the first row and second row value and then we need to print like 1 comma 2. Same thing goes for third row. When we are printing the third row value, we need to concatenate first, second and third row value. So the output of third row should be 1 comma 2 comma 3. Same thing goes for B also. In the first row of B, we should just print 100 as it is. In the second row, we need to print 100 and 200. So it should be like 100 comma 200. Same thing for the third row. For third row, we need to include 100, 200 and 300. So the output should be 100, 200 and 300. Similarly, it should go for the rest of the records. Fine. So now let me show you what is the logic I am going to follow so that it is very easy for you to follow when I am writing the SQL. So basically what I am going to do is, first I am just going to find the concatenated list of all the values that is a comma separated list of all the values under A and then under B. So basically what I'm going to do I'm just going to use the list aggregate function as an analytical function here partition by the column 1. So by that way what we can do is all the values under A can be concatenated like 1 comma 2 comma 3. Similarly all the values under B can be concatenated something like 100 till 500. So this is our first step. Next what I am going to do within each group that is within the group of column 1 that is as partitioned by column 1 I am going to print a sequence number here that is a row number. So basically how this will help us so within A I am just printing 1 2 3 similarly within B set I am printing like 1 till 5. How this will help us Actually my now expectation is for the first row I need to extract till the first occurrence of comma that is till the first occurrence of comma. Same way in the second row I need to extract till second occurrence of comma that is where the sequence will help me. Similarly in the third row I need to extract till the third occurrence of comma. Actually there is no comma here but we will concatenate one comma so that the query will work here. Same thing goes for the second set. So in the B set, what we are going to do in the first row of B set, we are going to extract till the first occurrence of comma. Similarly, in the second row of B set, we are going to extract till the second occurrence of comma. Same thing will go till the end of the record. So once we actually extracted, our output will actually look like this. And this is our actual expected output. Right? Fine. Now let me show you how to write and show you this SQL. Okay, I'm dropping the table because I already created. So I'm just creating a table called T with two columns and I'm just populating the input data what I have just shown you here and I'm just committing the information. Let's just query from the table. So I'm saying select star from table T. Yes, we are able to see all the data here. Right. Now let's start writing the SQL. First what I am going to do, I am just going to select both the column, let's say column 1, comma, column 2. As a first step, we just need to print the aggregated value as it is, as per the partition of the column 1. So for that we will just use the list ag function. So let me say list ag of column 2. We need a comma separated value, so I am just putting a comma here, then within group order by column 2 right then what I am going to do over partition by column 1 because 
we want the aggregation to happen as per the column one same thing for aggregation to has happen as per the column ones b now we just got the aggregated value as i have shown here the next step is to compute this sequence number okay let us give an alias name for this let me just give alias as a g g right now the next step is to print the sequence number whatever i have showed here right for that we will just use the row underscore number analytical function same thing let me just use the same partition class over partition by column one let me say order by column two right now we just got the aggregated value as i have showed here similarly we just got the as a simple sequence partitioned by the column one so let me just give alias like occurrence something like occ right now i'm just going to make this as an inner query so let us first select all the informations from inner query let me select column one column two then uh, aggregated value then the occurrence position from t from the inner query right so now our expectation is basically to find the position of comma so this is very important here to find the position of comma that is in the first row we need to find the position of first occurrence of comma in the second row we need to find the uh, position of the second occurrence of comma for that what we can do is we can use the in string of course you can implement this using regular expression substring also but in this case i prefer to use the in string and substring first i'm using the in string basically to find the position of occurrence of comma so from the aggregated i am going to find the comma so i need to start the search from first position for the occurrence so because the occ is nothing but our inner sequence that is the occurrence position so now if you see this in string will give us the occurrence you can see here in the first row the com the first occurrence of comma occurs in the second position of the string in the second row the second occurrence of comma occurs in the fourth position in the third row since there is no third occurrence of comma it is returning zero to make the query work what i'm going to do i'm just going to append the comma at the end of this string so let us append one simple comma here so that it will work for even this row and the last row okay fine now that we found the position the next step is to extract the information that is from the first position till the comma occurrence position for that what we are going to do is we are just going to use a simple substring function substring of aggregate so basically we want to extract from first position till the occurrence of comma position so let me just copy and paste it here right now you can see we just extracted one comma in the second row one comma two comma that is till the fourth position so here till second position here till fourth position here till sixth position but we are not interested in printing the comma at the end so let us just put one minus one so that we can exclude the comma so actually if you see this is our expected output so let me just give alias like expected output right now anyway we just computed all these information just as a temporary measure for us to visually see how the query is getting prog progressed so we can actually comment out all these things so let me just remove all these information unnecessary information so now you can see here we just got the expected output so here is the query right let me give you a quick recap of what we have learned the first thing is the list aggregation so basically the list aggregation will help us to get this data here basically a comma separated list of values the next learning is to get the row number so using the row number analytical function i'm just printing a sequence within each partitioned value for example within a there is one sequence and again within b there is another sequence like one two three four five next and the last logic we implemented using the substring and the in string logic basically to extract the position based on the position of the row so this is the last logic okay so 
this is quite simple and easy okay so in fact this information i have solved and i'm having a query for you to resolve by yourself so here is a slight change in the expected output and i want you to try this out let me just tell you what is the uh, change i have done here the only change i have done here is the order of output for example in this case it is like 100 200 300 and i want you to try printing something like this 300 200 100 for example in this case like 1 2 3 in this case it is just a reverse of this 3 2 1 okay you just need to tweak the out query a little bit to get the uh, another expected output okay in fact the script for all these things and the queries whatever i have tried i'm going to pin in the first comment of this video once you're able to try this out you can copy the script and you can just refer it for yourself if you have any such interesting question you can post it in the comment section or you can drop to this mail id but before that you can check whether a similar question has already been answered as part of the subscriber question series or as part of the interview question series if you're not able to find your question here please write back to me i'll be happy to record and post as a new video if you have learned something new please like this video subscribe and stay tuned for new feature video interview question sql practical question concept videos and performance tuning videos and thanks a lot for watching this video please click the bell icon if you want to receive instant notification whenever new videos are uploaded into this channel thanks again for watching this video